Well guys, it's been one of the most arid, lifeless, drought-ridden seasons in history for this land. From coast to coast, from sea to shining sea, and all across the fruited plain, like a page from the tales of ancient Egypt, a once bountiful land now withers under skies that suddenly refuse to relinquish their elixir of life. And amazingly, while the heavens refuse to open for some, they refuse to close for others. It's been a time of record drought and record floods. And so with half the world browning and half the world drowning and the food supply of billions hanging precariously in the balance, we thought we'd better stop in and give you a quick Ice Age update. The latest United States government report that I have before me shows that over 85% of the continental United States is now under drought conditions and over half the counties in this entire nation have now officially been declared disaster zones. The Department of Agriculture declares this our largest natural disaster ever. What was once billed only months ago as the largest harvest in history is now looking like a bust. And even the mighty Mississippi, the Nile of North America, has been reduced to a trickle, impeding navigation through its receding waters. And this pestilence has not been confined to these shores, but is dispatched across the planet, bringing the specter of hunger and famine to peoples around the world. We've seen droughts break out from the Celtic coasts of Ireland to the Islamic inlets of Iran, to Mexico, where the quaint granjas and haciendas of the Tierra del Verde have been all but abandoned to South America where crippling drought has broken the backs of one of the world's most productive ranching regions in northern Argentina. Bone-crushing droughts in Africa have fostered rebellions and revolutions from Mogadishu to Mozambique. And northern China where the deepest drought in 200 years has turned fertile fields into a desert wasteland. In eastern India where after three years of failed rains the well has literally run dry and a silent epidemic of farmer suicides grips the land claiming the lives of over 150,000 poor rural Indian farmers, hard men broken by clouds that will not break. And amazingly, while half the world prays for rain, the other half prays for the rains to end. We've witnessed record rains from Scotland to Sri Lanka, from China to Chiapas. In Great Britain, where the island kingdom is being lashed with the wettest year in recorded history, and unprecedented rains in Russia, over two months worth of rain in a matter of hours. A city swamping deluge of destruction that killed 171 people. In Japan, where waterfall-like rains wreaked havoc, inundating the island and spawning landslides that forced a half a million from their home. Including a day of downpour, over 20 inches in 24 hours, the heaviest rainfall on record. And how could we fail to mention last year's diluvial downpours down under? Australia's biblical flooding of the Queensland state. A rain so wicked that it submerged a million square kilometers of outback desert. A landmass greater than France and Germany combined, swallowing cities and spawning an inland sea 55 miles across. Now the world's media, governments, and scientific community see all of this as the product of global warming. But the research that I've been doing suggests they're totally wrong and that we stand at the dawn of the Neo Ice Age. Exhibit A, China. Scientists studying soil samples spanning 12,000 years are shocked to find that 73% of major floods and every incidence of catastrophic flooding occurred during Little Ice Age conditions. But amazingly, with Yin came Yang. Within each of those samples was clear evidence that extreme drought had also haunted the land during those times. The scientists conclude their report stating, extreme droughts and flooding occurred together. Exhibit B, Africa. Scientists researching soil samples at Lake Nyavasha, Kenya report that the Little Ice Age produced both much wetter and much drier conditions. Their report states conditions were wetter, but with persistent droughts much more severe than anything seen in modern times. African historical records also reveal that the Niger River flooded the forbidden city of Timbuktu 13 times during the Little Ice Age. This is an event that has never happened since. Exhibit C, South America. Scientists working with ocean core samples taken from Chile's Laguna de Aquilo find soil samples from Ice Age periods contain the highest frequency of flood events. And two separate studies from Venezuela's Cariaco Basin show that the Little Ice Age produced by far the deepest droughts in modern history. Exhibit E, Cambodia. Scientists compiling the largest ever tropical tree ring study find strong evidence that severe droughts and intense rains collapsed the Khmer Empire and the ancient complex of Angkor Wat. Their tree ring analysis dates these events to the dawn of the Little Ice Age. 
And of course, these scientific findings are confirmed by the written historical record found throughout Europe. German chroniclers marveled at the crop failures and were stunned by the sight of mounted knights trading their magnificent war horses and armor for mere food and drink. In India, historical records from the period reveal that the Little Ice Age brought long, serious droughts, followed by heavy rains causing epic floods. Records reveal some of these droughts lasted more than a hundred years. And not to belabor the point, but numerous studies have shown the exact same pattern in North America. For example, Canadian scientists doing tree ring analysis in Manitoba found that the Little Ice Age produced the wettest and driest conditions in North American history. Anyway guys, sorry for the information overload, but I really wanted to get on here and give a quick rebuttal to the baseless propaganda that I see constantly out of the big media on this subject. It seems to me they're much more interested in leading the public around by the nose to their predetermined destination than they are in seeking the truth. And the truth is that the scientific and historical record both agree that a world of increasing droughts and floods is inconsistent with global warming, but very consistent with the dawn of the Neo-Ice Age.